Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekwa Kodash. Peace and salutations to all the brothers and the sisters out here living and giving this truth. And everybody else, all the rest of Israel who waking up to the truth, uh, our, our true heritage, history, culture, etc. I want to address two things because um, this just came up a few times, but let me go ahead and tackle it. I call it the purple people eater doctrine. <laughs> Those of us who've been in truth, you know exactly who I'm talking about already. Um, two things. All right, this this foolishness that's saying we don't have to pray through Christ, through Yahweh Shah, that's foolishness. We're going to address that, right? He said, well, Christ never told us to pray through him. That's foolishness, okay? And the second is that we don't have to call on the Most High's name nor Christ's name. When all of our forefathers, and it's written all throughout the scriptures, we better exalt his name, not only just in time of troubles, and, and, and when you're being blessed as well, not just when you need him. But we're going to address that, you know, hopefully it's short. And, and if not, then we're going to stay in the spirit and go through it. But for starters, uh, let's just jump right into John. We'll go to John 17. And I'm going to just hit some some quick pointers because it's a few I want to get to. I mean, it's over just me in the last 15 minutes since I turned my phone back on from uh, from the evening. I mean, I could at least drop at least 45 different scriptures on this, but we're going to just try to get a handful. John 17, verse 6. All right. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. This is red letters. This is Yahweh Shah talking. This is Christ talking, right? So he manifested thy name. Now, thy name also means the word, right? The true understanding of the word, but it's a parable. It also means his name as well, right? Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word, right? So we were... You know, remember all power and all that was given unto Yahweh was given unto Christ. Okay. Verse seven. Now they have known all things whatsoever that has given me or thee. For I have given unto them the words. See, there it is. He given unto us the words which thou gavest me. Because Christ was only speaking the words of the most high. He wasn't bringing in new words and new doctrine like Christians try to say. <laughs> and like uh, a, a few of these organizations try to say. And they have received them. And have known surely that I came out from thee. This is why we say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, because Christ comes from Abba Yahweh, comes from Yahweh, right? And they have believed that thou didst send me. See, everybody ain't gonna believe it. Only some of us, or only the elect. See, some of these organizations, like for example, one IUIC, I ain't talking about them just directly, but it is what it is. That's they they one of the ones who hold on to that doctrine that you don't have to call on Christ's name. They re they know Christ's name. They've received the Most High's real name and Christ's name, and they choose not to use it. The Most High's not with them. That's what that means. If you have some and you refuse to use it, no, that's, that's on you. Okay? Verse 9. This is Yahweh Shah talking. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Yahweh Shah praying for us. He, ain't, he don't care about everybody else. He ain't dealing with them. But for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all of mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Okay? Let's matter of fact, let's stay in John. Let's go to John. I think it's 13. Let's go to John 14. I think it's 14. Let's go to John 14. Yeah, let's start at 14 and 6, okay? So we got to understand what's really going on, right? John 14 and 6, and Yahweh shall said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I will say this, Christians do have that part, right? They do. <laughs> they got that part, right? Right? No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There's order. There's hierarchy. See, Satan is very crafty. They're crafty. They search out the iniquities, Right? Once you remove Christ out of the order, you move Yahweh out of the order, you have no hedge. You have no covering. This is just like a woman who don't have a covering at home. You take that man out that household, you have no idea what you've just done. So if you think you don't have to go through Yahweh, go right ahead. When Jacob's trouble and all this stuff hit the fan, 
You think, well, I ain't got to pray through him. But you don't, you don't have no, we've never had a direct portal straight to the most high. We've always had a mediator. The Levites, Aaron, Moses, was our, was our mediators. You don't be a cashier at Walmart and you need to do account or your cash register stop working. You don't then call Sam Walton or the Walton children or CEO of Walmart and say, well, I need to talk to them directly because my cash register ain't working. It don't work that way. You have mediators. You have people in between. So think about, you know, on the flip side to that, how some of our sisters, you know, they, oh, I have a direct and I'm talking about the most high direct and I'm this. No, no, that's that's Satan and Eve's ear again. There's order. And we finna get to that. OK, so what would I say? Well, we, we just read verse six. Let's go to verse seven. If ye had known me. You should have known my father also. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And from henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Okay? Philip said, Philip said unto him, Yahweh Shah, show us the Father, right? And, and, and it'll pretty much satisfy us, right? Now, so you gotta understand the way Yahweh Shah is talking back to them. He's not speaking all soft with Skittles and whipped cream and a bagel with cream cheese on it. He's not doing it. Verse 9, Yahweh Shah said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? In other words, like, bro, how, how long I done been with you? And you don't know me? How long I done been with you? Like, he getting tired of this. It got to a point to where the disciples was afraid to ask Yahweh Shah questions. Because he wasn't speaking to them like he was just handing out free lunch. Okay? I'm going I'm to keep reading. He that had sent me Says thou then show us the father. In other words, like, bro, if I just said, if you seen me, you seen the father. So why are you going to turn around and ask me, show me the father? Like, that's one of the dumbest questions. That's what he's, that's what he's getting at. Verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the father and the father in me? So in other words, he's saying, so nigga, you don't believe me? Right? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So this is how you can get anybody up, even if they kind of partially in the truth. You talk about the works, even the purple people eaters, they know you got to keep the works. So this is why Yahweh Shah turning it back on them. Verse 11, believe me that I am in the Father, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. In other words, bro, look at everything I done done. Look at the word. Look at this. But fine. You ain't that far spiritually in tune yet. At least believe me for the works. You got to have faith and works. You got to have faith. You know that I'm in him. I, this is me. I'm letting you know. Okay, cool. You just got the works then. Cool. You might just be a Pharisee then. Cool. At least believe me for the works sake. Verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto Abba Yahweh, I go unto my father. And whatever so ye shall ask in my ask also means pray. Pray means ask. If there's any attorneys out there, if you've ever been in litigation, right? When it says the claimant or the plaintiff, the defendant prays this, that means you just ask. So when you ask the most high for something, don't you pray? Don't you pray? That's Matthew chapter six. Don't you pray? He said you go in the closet and you pray. Don't you pray? This is Yahweh Shah telling you, you need to go through me. I'm the mediator now, dog. You, you can't, because what was about to happen is, this is prophecy. We was about to lose our temple, lose our heritage, lose our identity. We had to, you, past since we had to go and get with the Levites. They had to go do certain things and, hey, uh, ask the most high this. Hey, do this. You will see it in some of these Greek movies and they'll say, go and see the oracles and ask what we might do. Well, man, we had to go holler at the Levites. We had to go holler at Issachar and figure out which way we needed to go sometimes. That's in Chronicles. Let's keep going. Verse 13. And whatever, whatever so ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And so he said it once and he's going to repeat it again for the dumb folks in the back. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. He's the mediator. That don't mean 
give me a house, give me a car, give me this. No, this is not none of that cupcake Christian doctrine. That's not what's going on. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get some more. I'm going to stay in the New Testament, but oh, I, I ain't precepting. Yeah, I'm just showing you more more uh, cases where it is, but we're going to get to the old because we got a precept from there. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2, we're going to start at verse 1, right? So we're going to get to some of the disciples, some of the people who walk with Yahweh Shai, not some of these people who <laughs> st still profit and still, and still selling stuff all up in the temple and all of that. Not none of that. Verse 1. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, this is how you know we Hebrews, ain't that how we talk? Your girl probably went off on you today. First of all, you did this. Second of all, this is how you know it's us. First of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, our Savior. See that Savior that means Redeemer, right? Deliverer. Okay. Verse four. Who will have all men to be saved? So in context, he's talking about the Israelite when he says all men. He's not necessarily talking about everybody in the world. Remember, we're men. We're human. They're beasts. It's two different things. Okay. Verse four who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. This is why we say, do you know the truth, the truth, truth, etc. right? Verse five, for there is one power, Elohim, right? There's one God and one mediator between Yahweh and men is one mediator. That man being Hamasiyah, Yahweh Shah, as you see in it right there, it say Jesus Christ is one mediator. You ain't finna jump straight from the cashier line or stocking at Home Depot and go straight over to Atlanta to the CEO. It don't work that way. Okay? It don't, it don't work that way. Right? It, it just don't. Okay? Matter of fact, let's... We're gonna go... Let's go uh, to... Um, let's, let's go to Exodus real quick. Let's go to Exodus chapter... It might be 20. Let's go 23, though. Now, nah, 20. Exodus 23. Let's get there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Exodus 23 and verse 20. Right? We back in the law, right? Behold, I send an angel before thee. We're going to touch on that. Behold, I send the an angel before thee to keep thee and to bring thee into the place where And obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. He that delivers, that redeems. Right? enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. Okay? Verse 21, I want to touch back on that. Beware of him. Obey his voice. Provoke him not. Don't say, I'm Old Testament only. Christ don't exist. You ain't got to go through Christ. That's so feminine. You saying you ain't got to go through Christ is just like but, but, but they want to go around and get on the women by saying, I don't need a man. You're going to be destroyed. You doing the same thing by saying you don't need a mediator. I don't need Christ. We don't need that. What is that? Most high Christ bless. What was all them initials? Our forefathers never said most high Christ bless. How are you going to say Christ? How Christ going to bless you when you don't even go through him? He going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. I don't know you. When you need your rent paid, your car broke down, you need a transmission. Somebody's sick. You go in your closet and be like, Most High Christ bless, old black Messiah. No. Those are titles. Mom and dad is a title, but your mom and dad got a name. Period. This is how it works. As a matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah, because let's go to Isaiah so we can touch further on that, okay? 
Let's go with Isaiah 63. So we're going to Isaiah 63. We ain't, we ain't going to touch on all that. We're going to just go. I'm going to go straight to verse uh, 8. Right? For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. Who's our redeemer? Right? They were quick to say, most high Christ blessed. Well, who's our redeemer? What's his name? That's why I mentioned in Proverbs, like, uh-uh, uh Who ascended up to the heavens? What's his name and what's his father's name? Uh-uh. What's their name? It matters big time. You don't let people say or don't fall into that doctrine that you don't need to pray through Christ. He just told you, you must come through him. Okay? I'm, I'm going to finish it out. In all their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. Okay? So, even when some 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 of these people who cling to that doctrine, right? And, and it's, I don't I hate that A T T P H and T M H and Most High Christ Bless man. Get that out of here. You exalt the Father's name, okay? The Levites, Aaron, Moses, they were our mediators between the Most High and Israel. And Aaron blessed the people, so they could say, "Oh, well, well, well mediator, you got to go through him." I mean, let's get a little Leviticus chapter kind of goes over part of the Levites' little ordinance, but we're gonna go. Uh, let's see, Leviticus nine. I'll get straight to it right here. Uh, verse 22, right? Leviticus 9 and 22. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them. Why? Because they was Levites. They was the mediators and blessed them and came down from offering of the sin offering and the burnt offering and peace offerings. And Moshe and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah appeared unto all people. So you see that? You got to have a mediator. Just like when we have a mediator, when Yahweh Shah, when Christ come back with them angels, right? And when we see the kingdom of heaven coming down, what it says, we're going to see it descending and you're going to see the most high hand dropping it down. This is what happened because we had a mediator. We had somebody in between, right? So they saw the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, it appeared unto all people, verse 24, and there came a fire out from before Yahweh and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat. When all the people saw, they shouted, in other words, they passed the hell out. You have no idea, like, what people have, they think this is Skittles and rainbows. They passed out. You would think, well, what is this? Voodoo? Richcraft? What is this? They passed out. Aaron and Moses didn't. Because they had a mediator. They already know what's going on. But regular people, people, oh, most high Christ blessed. I don't believe in this. And da -da 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 -da. This is why Christ is constantly saying, look, y'all are blessed. Because y'all have seen the mysteries in the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who got faith and they haven't even seen me. Right? When Yahweh Shah took some of the disciples up into the mountain, right? And they do the, the, the transfiguring part and all of that. And they, everybody haven't seen it. Look at the, our forefather, our ancestors, they passed the hell out. They see, now keep this in mind, they was already out of Egypt. They already just saw what happened at the Red Sea. They just saw this again, passed the hell out. All right. Matter of fact, let's get some more. Let's stay in the Old Testament, Okay. So we we showing the, the 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 mediator part, okay? Let's stay in the Old Testament. We go into the Apocrypha. Let's go into uh, Tobit. 
Let's go on to Tobit. Let's go chapter 12. We're going to go chapter 12, verse 5. I'm trying to get to verse 5, but this Bible app, it keeps turning back. Tobit chapter 12, verse 5. Okay? This is for the exalting part, right? Now, I can go to plenty of verses, so you're supposed to exalt, et cetera, et cetera, but they say it's not important to use the name. Remember, these words were changed. Our forefathers always used the name. Always. Verse 5. Let's see where we at. 12 verse 5. Okay. So he called the angel. He said unto him, take half of all that ye have brought and go away in safety. All right. I, I mean, I could speak on what happened earlier, but Tobias and yada, yada, they, he was reunited with his father, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, verse 6. Then he took them both apart and said unto him and unto them, bless Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, even Christians know they're going to see that G-O-D. They're going to say, that's Christ. Anyway, bless Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, praise him and magnify him. Not say uh, TMH, the Most High, or Most High Christ Bless. No, you bless Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, praise him and magnify him and praise him for the things which he has done unto you in the sight of all that live. It is good. To praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and exalt his name, not create an abbreviation text like you doing, like you texting somebody, sending an emoji. IDK, I'm on my way. O OMW. No, what, like, what are we doing? When stuff hit the fan, when these missiles start to drop on World War Three, when this place getting judged, you gonna shout out, oh, Black Messiah, Most High Christ Bless. Man, stop playing. Like, y'all better get serious. Stop playing. All right? Let's keep, I'm going to keep going with that in the middle of verse 6. It is good to praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah and exalt his name and honorably to show forth the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Therefore, be not slack to praise him. You slacking. You being lazy because you ain't doing the work. It's one name that can be saved under the heavens. You being lazy by abbreviating it. Who told you to abbreviate his name and go TMH? Most High Christ bless. What is that? You being slack. That's, that's slothfulness. That's what that is. Matter of fact, there's some more in Tobit, right? Because we want to talk about, uh, I brought up the, the cashier and the CEO, the hierarchy, if you will. Let's stay in Tobit, right? Because Yahweh Shah coming back with those angels, correct? Like what's in Titus, right? He coming back with them angels, right? There's order. There's order. Yeah, who's over all the angels? Yahweh Shai is. He's over all the angels. That's he's the hierarchy. And Michael is Michael got a portion that he's over. So they got to report back to who? Yahweh Shai. Because who's the mediator? And let's let's keep going. Stay in Tobit. Go to verse uh Look at uh, this matter of fact, verse 15 at the bottom of this page or whatever. I don't know why they ain't showing up the whole thing. It's tripping right now. I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints, which is the Israelites, and which go in and out before the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It's the Holy One, the glory of the Most High. So a lot of people didn't even know that. There's seven angels that go, they hear our prayers. When it says your prayers pierce the clouds, well, who's hiding? Who's in them clouds? Y'all just saw the movie. Nope. Man, them chariots. They delivering them prayers right back up. But who's the highest? Who's up there above them? Yahweh Shai. They got to run them prayers back. They run your prayers back. So when you go in there and you, uh, oh, black Messiah of this, of this, like, like the, the, the purple people you just try to tell you to say, Man, the most high don't know if you're talking to him, right? If you're talking to the leader of the Black Panthers, if you're talking about a movie, man, he, you better call him by his name. He said, you better exalt my name. Who do you think you are, boy? Who you talking to? That's just like you telling your child, yeah, don't say yeah, say yes, sir. Like, who you talking to? The most high is a man of order. Don't slack. He ain't slothful. You don't be slothful when you're talking to him. It's just like you, your, your dad or your grandma telling you, man, say, stand up straight, pull your pants up, walk right. 
get your gat right. Anyway, that I mean, that's that's the same thing. I just wanted to, just to touch on that part. There's a hierarchy, okay? Matter of fact, let, let's get into that. There's a hierarchy. Now, here's also why Yahweh is able to pardon and take away sins. A lot of people don't understand that. This goes with us praying through him because he's our mediator, but not only he's our mediator, he's our covering. He's our husband, right? He's likened unto the daughter. He's likened unto Zion, the daughters of Zion, etc. right? Like a woman, Israel, his bride, Jerusalem, right? Matter of fact, man, let's just, let's just, let's just go right into that. Let's go to Revelations. Let me go back to where I was. Let's go to Revelations, New Testament, for order and while we go through, let's go to Revelations 21. Well, we don't need all that. Uh, verse 9, right? Revelation 21, verse 9. Now, and then we're going to show every time Christ opened his mouth as a parable, and he's also quoting from the law, you just have to have the spiritual understanding of what the heck he's saying. 21 and 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven veils full of the seven last plagues, and talk with me. Right. Like we just read it. It happens all the time. So if your brother and your sister, one of them say, oh, hey, man, I, I seen a chariot. Hey, uh, 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 angel of the Lord came upon me, man. You're supposed to believe him. What you mean? That's always happened to us. Anyways, keep going. So one of them came to him and saying, come hither. I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. So. We're the wife of Yahweh Shah, of Christ. There's order. I-U-I-C. Y'all teach this very well. You can't skip over your husband and go around him and think you're going directly to the Most High. So what the heck makes you think you don't need to go through Christ? That's our husband. Pause. No homo. That's our husband. You can't skip around him. That's order. Let's get that. Verse 10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city. He's showing you the wife, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from Yahweh. Because we had our mediator with us. We had the husband, the bridegroom, and we the wife. Bet the most high is doing what? The most high gives the wife away, doesn't he? That's why Yahweh shot saying, oh, you gave me to them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But we can connect on to Babylon traditions and my daddy, my father walked me down the aisle. My father gave me away. Yeah, he's our father who are in heaven. Matthew chapter six, the most high gave us, he's given us to Christ. We his wife. That's how that works. Your father giving you away. Your father paid for the wedding, right? you like all through the scriptures. Your father paid for the wedding. I, your father even buy you a house. Your father buying a house. This is the house you're looking at. Verse 11, having the glory of Yahweh and her light was like unto stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. He described a house that your daddy also bought. Pay, he paid for the wedding and he paid for a house. Verse 12, it had and had a wall great and high and had 12 gates and at the gates, 12 angels. I'm even have my angels kicking it with you. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. We're the bride. So you can't, you got to go through Christ. You have to pray through him. I, I see y'all teach that. So is Christ not our husband? Is he not our bridegroom? Oh, uh, matter of fact, no, I don't have that. Let's get that. Matthew 25. Ma Come on, the 10 virgins, five are wise, five are foolish. See, a lot of us know we Israelites and this, but five of us are wise. We understand through the law, through order, through prophecy, yeah, you, we got to go through Yahweh Shah. Like what was told to David. Matter of fact, Matthew uh, chapter 25, verse 1. Look at that. Then, this is uh, the uh, ten virgins, right? A parable, if you will. Then shall the kingdom of heaven 
be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Christians actually got this part right. They are called Christ the husband stuff all the time. They got that part right. Who's the bridegroom? So then who's the bride? So is there no order? So you saying, you saying we don't have to pray through Christ. You're taking your covering away. You're taking your hedge away. Same thing Satan whispered into the ear to Eve. You, I mean, you don't really need him. You don't really need, you could be a God. You don't need him. Boom. Got her guard down. She ain't got no hedge, got no covering. Now I can attack you from all sides. When Jacob's trouble pop off and you say, remember, it's a portion and it's a lot. And it's scriptures written for those who say, well, we don't need Christ. He ain't our mediator. He ain't our head. He ain't our covering. I can pray to the most high direct. Cool. Let's see how far they get you. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get that from the law, right? Let's get that. Since now you know that's our husband. It's a spiritual aspect behind it why you got to pray through Yahweh Shah. Let's get to let's get to the law. Let's go to Numbers chapter 30. It's in the law. You can't precept without using the prophets or psalms of the law. I don't know. One of us asked me something about, well, Matthew 6, they pray like this. Okay, what's the precept of Matthew 6? And it got to come from the prophets or the law. Where is Christ, where is Yahweh Shah quoting that from? Because he said every word he spake came from the Father. So, if, oh, where is he quoting that from? I'm going to wait for one of them to drop that uh, wherever wherever this go, whether if it's uh, YouTube or not. Matthew, uh, Numbers chapter 30. I ain't going to get it all. I'm going to just get to some hot, the hot points, okay? Now, this is going to cover... All the points here, I'm just get down to it. This is what it's covering. Matthew, uh, Numbers chapter 30, verse 16. These are the statues which Yahweh commanded Moses between a in her She You 
I've been around long after. Through forty miles, vacation. What she don't think we don't through her. So we how it have to pray through you have has all this stuff. Deal with drown. They'll drown. Yeah, I took okay, let's go. go. Yeah, I'll be saved. Rough aside. We got to take ownership. Being low. The most high. Actually doing this, he said, you know what? I'm going to go return to my throne. Hide my face from you. I'm going to go return to where I sit and to you parent do. You go in there and you go in your room, you turn that TV off, and, and you think about what you just did. In the eyes of the most high, he ain't been gone that long, y'all. A, a thousand years is like a day to him. In the eyes of the most high, he like, man, we've been on punishment for the weekend. Go over to your grandma and them house. I ain't got time to deal with y'all. You know, you don't piss me off. You know, brought home straight. This is Oh, this one. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. So the most high, he got tired of us back and forth, back and forth. We'll pray to him. Oh, you hollow, my son. Oh, you hollow. And then he'll forgive us like a parent does. Your child in there crying. After you after you whoop their butt, they be in there crying. What you do? You come in there and crack the dough. You you want something to eat? Uh, we, 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 I, we, I'm finna get ready to go to the store. You, you want something? You coming? You want to go to the park? I father the same way, tender, loving, mercy, care, grace. He whoop our butt. We yell out. We start crying. He let our ass right back in the house. We mess up. He whoop our butt. We start crying. He let us right back in the house. Let us right back in Jerusalem. This is what was going on. Uh, Jeremiah 17, chapter 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So the most high, when he says we discontinue from our heritage, now we call ourselves black. Now we call ourselves African-American. Now we think we all equal and everyone is equal. The most high not one time said everyone is equal. We're not equal. We're not. If the most high said these people are less than you, why are you fighting for equal rights? Word told power. So now, the most, if the Most High call these people dogs, you now saying, well, I want to be equal to a dog. So the Most High going to lower your butt down to a dog level. Okay, you want to be equal to them? Cool. I told you they're heathens. I told you they're murderers. They're liars. They're fornicators. You want to be equal to them? So be it. Right? He says, you want to be as the heathen? I'm going to let you. We'll stay in Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah chapter... 44. And so this is why it's important. This is prophecy on why our heritage was stripped. The Most High himself removed his name from our, our minds, our thoughts, our memory. He removed it. 
It was like, you know what? Boom, done, go. And how did he remove it? Through prophecy. Slavery. They beating us out. You can go and watch Roots. What's your name? Toby. Psh, your name, I mean, what's your name? Kunta. Psh, your name, Toby. They changed everything, but the most high allowed it. He got tired of us messing up. Enough is enough, right? I said, Jeremiah chapter, let's go to 44. And uh, let's just go, we'll go to we'll go to 26 or 25. No, 26. Wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's another one. 25, that's a whole other topic right there. Anyway, uh, verse 26. Therefore, hear the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, right? All Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt, behold. First off, this is Jeremiah, everybody. We was already out of Egypt. He's not talking about. Jeremiah was not there. He's talking about right now, modern day Babylon, spiritually uh, Sodom and Egypt. This place right now is prophecy. He's talking about right now, this day. So you living in Bible time. That's in Bible days. You living in a biblical. Prophets tell prophecies, things in the future, things that are going to happen. You're living in this time right now. So like it, we're living in this time right now. Right? There, verse 26. Therefore, hear ye the word of Yahweh, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. You, behold, I have sworn by my great name, said Yahweh, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt. Right? Saying Yahweh, our power liveth. So we remove all that got removed from us. Harriet Tubman age, Frederick Douglass age, right? Nat Turner's age, all, I know it was removed. So we tried to remember it in what? What's also in the scriptures? Sing a praise unto Yahweh. We tried to remember it and keep it alive and hide it from the heathens through songs, what they call Negro spirituals, right? Wade in the water. Go look up the original lyrics to that. It got in there. The slaves knew that, hey, when we cross over to Jordan, it had Yah and all that, right? Now, his real name is Yahweh, but we, that was our way of keeping it alive. The Most High removed it himself because we kept messing up. It is what it is. It's like a parent. I'm taking your iPad. You can, I mean, you you can't, you can get mad at your daddy, but you can't. You're like, okay, well, I'm the one who messed up. Fix it. Fix it. And how do we fix it? We're we going to get to the prophecy, not what I say. We're going to get to what the Most High say, what we're supposed to do. And it's going to, you better exalt his name. Remember your heritage. Remember the law. Remember the, what's part of the prophecy? Who's our husband? Everybody want to go to heaven, but who's your husband? Yeah, yeah, how was shy? You have to go through him. And we're going to get that again. Okay? Let's go to, um, let's get some more in the, in the Old Testament. Let's go to. Let's, matter of fact, let's go to Makai. Let's go to Makai 3. Okay. Three. Let's go to verse. Man, I want to read all it. Let's, let's go to verse 4, right? Makai 3, verse 4. Then shall they cry, cry, literally cry, snotting, praying. All of us done been through it where you done just been through some stuff. And cry also mean ask, right? Then shall they cry unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, but he will not hear them. Swing, we, we, we in the slave fields picking cotton. We were crying unto the Most High, begging. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. What does your parent do? Man, you misbehaving. The Most High, he, he hid his, our heritage, like we, as we read in Jeremiah 17. He hid his name. He hid us, even our own identity. He's like, I'm going to strip you bare. He hid himself. So how do we remember? That's born again, Christians. We have to literally be remember who the hell we are again. This has nothing to do 
with them and I'm born again. I'm a Christian. No, we never called ourselves Christian. It has nothing to do with that. But point being, this is for the purple people eaters and a guy who's all come in saying we we they ain't gotta pray through him. Show me one scripture. I ain't supposed to show you one. I'm supposed to show you multiple and give you the spiritual and physical, uh, give you the understanding of it. Okay? Let's go to uh, uh, Jeremiah 59. Hold on. I think it's verse 9. a lot. No, no, it's Isaiah. I said, I said, Jeremiah. Isaiah. I knew it was one of them. They go hand in hand. Isaiah, right? 59. Right? Verse 2. But your inequities have separated, have separated between you, Israel, and your power, and Yahweh. And your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear. If we and what is sin? We know that's transgression of the law. Christians know that now, right? Okay, so if we when we hear serving our enemies, as we read, they tell us not to keep the law. If you we don't keep the law, statutes and commandments, guess who don't even hear us? Everybody in the Christian church, I'm sorry, the most high is not the true power, the true uh Elohim, right? Or Allah. Hayim. He's not hearing your prayers at all and keeping no commandments. They don't mean the Ten Commandments. He's not even hearing it, period. Brothers, too, if we're doing all, he's not hearing it. He's not hearing it at all. But Satan does. Blessings, bless sin. Satan will. Satan does that, too. Okay? Matter of fact... Man, let's let's get let's get Baru. Just just popped in my head for sure, right? So what what must we do to get back? Okay, let's get this Baru. I think it's I think it's chapter two Baru two. I mean, y'all know what I want. The most 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 of us know this, right? They shall bethink themselves. Right? We know this. Okay. Con, this is where we get this from. Hard-headed, stiff neck. Because our, our daddy talked to us like that. The most high talked to us like that. Look, I tell, look, he's a black man with some bad children. Right? Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff neck people. But in the land of their captivity, right? This is the King James 1611 version. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. We gonna remember his name. We gonna remember Yahweh's name, because this is for now. We gonna remember our heritage, our history, all of that. This is why so many of our people now are waking up. Like, wait a minute, nah, man, I don't, I don't really care about no Labor Day or no Thanksgiving. I don't care about all that, bro. That ain't got nothing to do with us. So we gonna start to remember ourselves. So we ain't gonna remember ourselves and be afraid and go. Well, hold on. Let me let me say black Messiah, most high Christ bless. No, we're going to remember our power. We're going to remember everything and we're going to exalt it. Matter of fact, we're going to get that. I forgot one in Isaiah. We're going to get that. Verse 31. And shall know that I am. <laughs> look at that. That I am Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, right? Their God. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear, right? For they shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. So they're going to know. We're going to remember it and we're going to know that it ain't white Jesus. Verse 32. And they shall and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. We're not going to abbreviate it like we sent in a damn text message. This is prophecy. He said we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And after we do this, through verse 33, and we're turned from their stiff neck. This is why we don't we ain't eating no pork. We ain't eating no shrimp. We ain't eating no lobster. We ain't eating no crab. We ain't doing no caviar. 
We ain't doing no Halloween. We ain't doing no Christmas. We ain't doing no Easter. All that's pagan. All that stuff the Most High killed and put in captivity the children of Israel for doing it. So your great-great-grandparents and all them, the Most High destroyed them for doing it. Let them come and paint some eggs bloody red and doing all that. But they was doing it on a different level then. Let them come put that Christmas tree up in their house and put little gifts in it and talk about a white man jumping through the sky and then reindeer. The most high destroy you dead. This is what's going on. Right? Verse 33, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds for they shall remember the way of their fathers. We're going to remember everything, the good and the bad, with sin before Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So we're going to remember, wait, hold on. In the time of Jeremiah, our ancestors were doing, was doing Easter. They was even doing the, 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 the dyed cross buns too. They was even baking a cake. Wait a minute. We're going to remember that. And we're going to say, wait, if our dad, if the Most High punished them then, He'll do the same thing to us now. Verse 34, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath. An oath. When you get married, don't you take an oath? Covenant, same thing with Havashah. We got a mediator. I ain't, I ain't off for that. It's all go hand in hand. I will bring them into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. Like Yahweh said, uh, ain't it written in, the, in your law that you're a gods? Y'all don't remember that? This is what Yahweh was quoting this from several different places. Every time he opened his mouth, he was speaking of old. He said, nah, bro, like, bro, y'all gods, y'all just don't understand it. Y'all ain't the God, but you are a God. Y'all, gonna, we gonna be like the Avengers. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. So this ain't happened yet. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God and they shall be my people and I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them so if this has happened already why the heck are we not back in Israel this ain't happened yet this is prophecy so it's prophesied we gonna start to remember everything and praise and exalt the most high's name we ain't gonna say most high Christ Christ bless TMH. So many people who come into the knowledge of the truth of who we are, like the prophecy said, they say, I see people saying MMCHB and TMH. What is that? They don't even understand it because it don't make sense. So I just, I tell all time, no, his name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, right? In the name of Yahweh Shah. Like Christ just told us, say, hey, ask it in my name. Why? Because he's your husband. You're supposed to do what he say. Like we read in the book of Exodus, it says, obey him. That's your husband. Like your old big mama and them used to say, you come, well, he don't really take me nowhere and we don't do this. And she just, girl, get your ass back in the house. Bye. I ain't trying to hurt that. Is he hitting on you? Is he doing this? Well, no, but he, uh, girl, bye. I ain't, your, your big mama ain't trying to hurt that. She going to tell you, you better obey your husband. Get your ass back in the house. Them kids, pick them kids up from school and take your ass home. She ain't trying to hurt that. All right, so it's prophecy. It's prophecy that this would happen. Let's, let's, let's get more there. I said some about Isaiah, right? Let's get that. Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah 19, and, I, and I'm going to bring it home eventually, unless I'm still in the spirit. Isaiah 19, okay? So we just saw his prophecy that we're going to be calling and exalting his name. So, well, you ain't got to learn. You, y'all, you speak half Hebrew and half this and half this and da, da, da. Well, man, look, if we have to speak to people in this language so they can understand, we can't just come out and just speak full-fledged Hebrew. The average person ain't going to understand, but when we in around our brothers, we can do that all day. Let's get the prophecy for that. Isaiah 19, we'll start at 14, okay? This is the prophecy for right now. So when people are like, why y'all saying shalom and da da And when I say shalom to you, you don't respond or people, man, no, it's shalom. Uh-uh, we ain't doing, we're remembering our heritage now and we're correcting and we're nipping everything in the bud right away. Verse 14, Yahweh had mingled the perverse spirit in the midst thereof to err. 
thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his own vomit. This is what's going on in America right now. This is talking about spiritual Egypt. Isaiah was not in Egypt. This is talking about now, like, like, like Christ was saying, spiritually Sodom and Egypt where our Lord was crucified. So they had to kill him back then. And how do you kill uh, Christ, Yahweh Shah now? You got to do it in the spirit. You got to say things like he don't exist and he ain't important. I ain't got to go through him. I don't need a covering. Right. So the most high has mingled this spirit in America right now. Everybody marching up and down the street, gas high, this happening, shooting happening. He's allowing this to happen. He mingling this spirit. He's stirring the pot. Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. This is what's going on now. And COVID was just the beginning. Everybody losing their jobs and all that. It's going to get way worse. It's going to be like Book of Eli. Ain't going to be no more work here. Right? In that day shall Egypt, America, be like unto women. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which he shaketh over it. They're going to be scared. They're going to buckle. God ain't going to be blessing America as they sing in that song. shall be a terror unto Egypt like Ezekiel 25 say you going to help with some of this destruction that happened here whether if you like it or not maybe you're not an elect if you ain't using the name if you ain't calling on them then look it's not received by you you're not an elect and that's okay that is absolutely okay right and in the land of Judah shall be a terror unto Egypt. Everyone that make it mention thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, which he had determined against it. How did we get the counsel from the Most High? Through us, through the priests, prophets, servants. On Instagram, on Facebook, on Clubhouse, on podcasts, they see that. They're afraid. They see that. They understand. Let me tell you how spiritual the most, how deep the most high is. We gonna, Yahweh said we're gonna be out on the highways and by, byways. Two thousand years ago, if you will, right? What do they call the internet? What was it when it first came out? And what is it now? The information and the high speed what? Highway. That's what they call it. So people, well, why they do videos and y'all post it here? You can hit one click and boom, somebody in Australia seeing seeing whatever you just you just did. It's the high speed information highway, highways and byways, byways and streets. Okay, let's keep going. Verse eighteen. In that day, this prophecy right here for us speaking Hebrew here. This is speaking in tongue for Christians. Verse 18, in that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan and swear unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, one shall be called the city of destruction. We're going to be out here telling you this place finna be destroyed. The most high hate this place. And we're going to be able to speak Hebrew, but we still going to speak to you in English as well, because this is the language through captivity. But we're going to begin to what? Remember our heritage. Remember our tongue. That's speaking in tongue. We're going to be able to remember all this stuff. That's the prophecy that this would happen. So we ain't going to call his name and, and, and text and emojis. We ain't going to do that. We're going to remember it. It's going to be given to some of us. Like Yahweh said, he's going to leave us the comforter. He's going to leave us the Holy Spirit. He's going to leave it to us. So we're going to be able to understand it. So if you ain't using it, it wasn't given to you. You didn't receive it? Fine. It wasn't given to you. Keep praying through text messages. Okay? Matter of fact, let's let's get more of that. We're gonna stay in the old testament. I mean, I got I got, I mean, I got something else. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna go to uh, Ezekiel 20. We're gonna get some of your Habasha. We're gonna get some of that. Let's get, I'm gonna just get straight to it. Verse 33, Ezekiel 20 and 33. As I live, said Yahweh power, right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, I will rule over you. This ain't happened yet. 
I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries where you were scattered through the slave trade and through since we left Jerusalem, right? Even when the northern and southern kingdom split with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. I will bring you into the wilderness of the people and there I will plead with you face to face. So you gonna see how I shall face to face. This ain't gonna be the most high. You're going to see him face to face. Tell tell him that I don't need to pray through you. Tell him, who, who are you, nigga? I don't need to go through you. I'm going to look up to the most high while he's standing right in your face. Watch what's going to happen. Verse 36. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt. So he said, oh, the same way I did them? Now I'm going to do you the same way. Right? Because the most most high don't change. How about you? How about you? Don't change. So will I plead with you, said Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge, y'all seen the movies Purge, I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me. Oh, you don't need me? I ain't your husband? You don't have to come through me? You don't have to pray through me? You got a direct shot? Bet that. I will bring them forth out of the country where they sojourn. Remember, because you know he got a he got a duty to keep. I'm a, I'm gonna gather you. That's cool. Many gonna sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. And they gonna think they're gonna be good. And Yahweh Shah gonna cast them out. It's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth. People forget that. They gonna think they good. Oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Nah, I mean, come here. Who got power in the kingdom of heaven? Christ does. Yahweh does. The one you say is not your mediator. One you ain't got to go through. Him. Right? You pray through him, not to him. Okay? I'm going to bring them out for it, verse 38, of the country where they sojourn, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahweh with your power. So they're not going to enter in. It's a wrap. So every, you, all the ones who, oh, well, Christ don't exist and Old Testament only and you ain't got to exalt his name and you ain't got to do this. Cool. Hey, you transgressing against me because it's commandments. Precepts are commands. It's commandments that you better exalt his name. Even in the land of your captivity, which is now, we're going to start to remember and do what? What we read in Baruch. You're going to exalt his name. Well, the righteous are, the elect are. The rest going to, you know, Pray through text messages like the purple people leaders do. That's a commandment. So you transgress in the commandments. Why do you add on to the commandments with your own silly tradition? None of our forefathers said TMH and HMCTB and all that. Man, that stuff sounds like you saying HBCU. I don't know what the people talk about when they say that. Okay? So... In spiritual context, and, and, and even with the scriptures, yes, we always have had a mediator. Yes, Yahweh Shah, a mediator. Yes, you pray through him, not to him. Yes, it's very important to know the name of the Most High and of his Son, and you better exalt it. It's only one name that's salvation. One. It's not no Yahuwah, you your Yahuwahites. It's not no Ahaya, you Ahayaites. It ain't no Most High Christ Bless. That ain't even a name. Those are titles. I don't know what that is. It's none of that. People are too lazy to do the work and to do the research. This is why I said study to show thyself approved. We have to do that. Matter of fact, I almost forgot one important one. Let's get that in Acts. New Testament. Let's, let's get that in Acts. Acts uh, I think that's Acts 4, right? Acts 4. Yeah, Acts chapter 4. There it is right there. Acts chapter 4, verse 11. Uh, no, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. Right? For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It ain't no getting around that. 
is let's read that again. I'm gonna start at verse eleven. This is the stone which was set and not of of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under the heavens given among men whereby we must be saved. All the call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Think about this. So when y'all come into knowledge of the truth and you see people with saying, oh, most high Christ blessed and this, 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 and this, they, they don't know what they're talking about. The most high is not with them. He's not with them, period. He's not with them. You, you need your rent paid, flat tire. You got to do all this. You're going to go in there. Uh, black Messiah of Israel of can you uh please help me man that man get out of here he heard those who know him he heard those who seek him he heard those who call his name okay like all that is just it's it's it's, it's clear as day right matter of fact Let's go to uh, let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter eight. Hebrews chapter eight. Well, I just go to verse six. That's what I was looking for. I just get straight to it. Hebrews chapter eight, verse six. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, right? Because Christ is the highest priest, right? So he, he, like Levites, if you will, but he's also our husband, right? But how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. You got to go through him, which was established upon better promises. We have to go through him, He's our husband. That's where all that comes from. He's not just, oh, Christ the ruler, he's our husband. Because it's also written in the law. The Most High is perfect in order. If anybody's trying to get y'all out of order, stop, think, pause, ask elders, ask questions. You know how many people from multiple camps, IUIC, other camps, uh, who, who use this doctrine and a, and a call me or text me and mention me and ask me, man, what's the most high's name? Why they ain't teaching y'all that in the organization? That's very important to know. What's Christ's name? Man, I thought so. So dang, this whole time, man, when you've been praying, who you been praying to? You might well say Kellogg's cornflakes when you're praying. Those are titles. Those are names. Anyway, hopefully with that, the elect at least have been edified because I know it says, you know, the, uh, the the devil, the dragon, they're going to fool some of the very elect. And if you up under one of them doctors, remember, blind leaders of the blind. Yes, the most high will let you walk right into that ditch with them. And ain't no such thing as, oh, well, some of the good people going to come from out the Christian church. and it, No, no, they're not. Some good people going to come from out of uh, this organization who teach this. No, no, they're not. The most high going to let them walk straight into that ditch with their leader. So with that, Shalom, until next time, most high willing, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, the Quackwadash. Shalom.